Hey kids, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 2, Array Elements, Exercise 4C. In the first video, we used arrays to do something you're probably pretty familiar with, and that was adding grades and then calling them. But you can also use arrays to do other things, like use it for our painter. And if you watch both these videos, I just really want you to see how similar both of these methods are. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we have to do. In array painter.java, we're going to write the move and paint method to move and paint using the color it index in the array paint colors. Then we're going to write the set color method to change the color it index to a new color. In my neighborhood, we're going to declare and initialize a string array with at least five colors. We're going to instantiate an array painter object at 5 0 facing south with 18 units of paint and the array of paint colors. We're gonna call the move and paint method to move and paint with each color in the array. We're gonna call the set color method to change one or more of the colors in the array. And finally, we're gonna call the move and paint method to move and paint using the new colors in the array. Sounds like a lot, kids, but again, when we break this down into smaller parts, it is actually pretty easy. Let's take a look at our code. Not too much here in my neighborhood. Over in array, looks like we're importing something here. And don't forget, we need to call that painter object. Array painter extends painter. So we're getting all of those things from painter. We are creating a string array called paint colors. We have one constructor, which is our standard one, x, y direction, and paint. And this one actually has an extra one paint color. So it's our standard one plus one. We have a get method here, which gets the paint colors and returns the paint colors. We have move and paint. I think that's where we have to do our work. And then we have a set method, which we also have to do some work at. Well, let's get started with number one, right? The move and paint method. And what this is going to do is move and paint using the color at index in the array of paints. So what we need to do is have a method that moves and paints as we go. And usually that also means a while statement. Let's go ahead and write that out. If I'm writing a while statement, I know I'm going to need an index. So we're going to create a variable index, which is set to zero. Now we need our while statement. What's going to be in this while statement? Well, what we're going to do is we are basically going to put a bunch of colors, pick a starting point, and then it's just going to paint a color each square from that index. So first thing we need to do is figure out what our index is. And as long as we're less than that index, we're going to do something. What index do we have? We have paint colors. So as long as we're less than paint colors, and not just colors, the length of colors, we're going to do something. What are we going to do? Well, I know from my other ones, there's a pretty standard movement to do this. We're going to move, paint something, and then we should check what index we're at again. So I'm going to do move, and then we're going to paint. And what do we want to paint? We want to do that paint color at index. So we're going to do paint colors at, we need our square brackets because we want to get the index or the element we're at. And then we need to progress through our while loop. So we need to do index. We can do plus plus is the same thing as equal index plus one. And you're going to see my shorthand here a lot. We should just get used to it. Index plus plus moves up one in the index, progresses us through our while loop. Pretty easy, kids. We're going to put a bunch of colors in. As long as there's colors to be painted, it's going to paint a square and do it. Well, let's work on number two. 
we have our set color method here. And this is a lot like video 4A. Our set color is going to take two parameters, the index or element that we want to change and what we're changing it to. And if you remember to do that, since this is a set method, and what do we want to set? That paint colors. And which one do we want to set? We don't know yet. So that's why we write index. And that index is just going to be equal to a new color that is going to be passed along. Well, that's it, kids. That easy. Come up here. Oops. You know, I like to put end of class. And again, don't forget, we also have to do our painter class here. So we need to import that painter class. That takes care of array painter. Now we have our 55 steps for our my neighborhood. Let's go over there and get started. First, we have to declare and initialize a string array with at least five colors. How do we create an array? Well, it's going to be a string. We need the brackets to denote it's an array. It's going to be called paint colors, and it's going to be equal to, we need our curly braces and a semicolon, and we need a bunch of colors. Let's do white, black, Kids, I know I'm boring. Green, blue, yellow. Ooh, we need our quotes. Yellow. Here, I'll be fancy, kids. Coral. Maybe a pink. That sounds pretty good. And we got our semicolon there. So that looks like a pretty good array of colors if you ask me and we have seven so we went above and beyond well, let's go down to number four we need to instantiate an array painter at object five zero facing south with 18 units of paint and the array of paint colors if you remember back to here our array painter is our standard four plus one so we have our direction amount of paint but we also have our paint colors which is going to be our array. How do we create that? Well, it's going to be of the array painter class. We'll call it my painter. It's going to be a new array painter and we have to add its parameters and it wants to be at five, zero, and it's going to be facing south with 18 units of paint. and it needs our array of colors. And the name of that is paint colors. So we're just calling our array. Now we're going to five, call the move paint method to move and paint with each color in the array. Well, let's do that. We need our object, that is my painter. What method are we calling? Move and paint. After that, we have to call the set color method to change one or more of the colors in an array. What object? My painter. What method? Set color. It has two parameters, the position we want to change and what we want to change it to. Let's change position one black to purple. Now we're going to call the move and paint method to move and paint using the new colors in array. Let's call our move method and just see if it works first. So let's go to my painter dot move. Let's see what happens and I'm going to run. We should make this a little bigger, kids. See what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Went there. Our last color was pink. And that did pink. And we have to get up and around here. So I think we're going to have to 
my painter dot turn left. And that should move us over. Then we're going to have to move again to get us to that next spot. And then turn one more time. We have to call our method again. And that is move and paint. Now when I hit run, should go down here, up, and back to here. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. Oh, we got a spelling error. Forgot to capitalize. That's clear. Hit run. And kids notice our purple in position one instead of white black it went white purple this time so our set color method worked seems like our program worked pretty good kids key takeaway from this lesson is a lot like the last lesson understanding how the indexes of an array work how we can use them in our programs this time we used an array and every time we moved we just printed a different color almost exactly the same concept of changing grades except physical numbers and scores we're just doing pictures on the computer that's it changing the medium but all of the same concepts stay the same hopefully kids this helps you understand array elements a little better as always if you have any questions come see me otherwise I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.